Hello and welcome to ProTrader Strategies Market Commentary for Wednesday, November the 7th. My name is Eric Wilkinson and some of you may recognize me as the Wolfman from CNBC, Fox Business, or even the Wall Street Journal for my commentary on everything from economic to geopolitical and market analysis. Please, excuse me, please keep in mind that everything that we talk about in these market commentaries is not a solicitation to buy or sell any of these securities or strategies. At the end of the day, I'm here to teach you some different strategies you can then implement in your portfolios, but please do that in your own way. Also, remember the past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, having that out of the way, we've got some economic data to go over and let's look across the pond at Italian retail sales coming in at a negative uh, 0.8%, expected to be a negative 0.1%, and they revised last month's number down from 0.7% to 0.6%, so a revision to a bad number is never a good thing. Uh, we shouldn't really expect anything great coming out of Italy. We've been seeing their numbers drop and go into uh, negative territory. So not really surprising to see that Italy retail sales or Italian retail sales are lower than expected. But retail sales out of the greater European region are also lower than expected, coming in at unchanged, expected to be a positive 0.1%. And they revised last month's number up from uh negative 0.2% to a positive 0.3%. So that revision, obviously making the overall number look better. Uh, and then here in the United States, we got crude oil inventories coming in at 5.8 million barrel build, expected to be a 2 million barrel build, much greater than expected, causing crude oil to come off a little bit here. But I've talked about this. I talked about this yesterday. Even if we see a crude oil build, I think that we're overextended to the downside and that we probably are going to find a bit of support here at the value area low, which I think is what it's starting to chalk up to be. It looks very good on the charts. Today's candle and market action as of right now, if we were to close right now, would look very good. Obviously not confirmed. I usually never wait for it to get confirmed. I'm a little bit early. But uh, having said that, it's starting to uh, shape up the way I had expected. So my USO trade looking all right. Uh, I'm not too worried about that one. So uh, I'm not trying to cover it either. It's not a profitable trade as of right now. But I'm much more comfortable today with that trade. All right. On to gold futures. Not a whole lot to see here. They are moving higher despite the fact that we're seeing equities move higher. But, you know, we've got the FOMC meeting tomorrow. So this could be acting as a bit of a buoyant aspect to gold because people are uh, wanting to take some risk off ahead of this FOMC meeting. So usually when you're taking risk off, you're kind of throwing it into something like gold to uh, to still have a bit of alpha in your portfolio, which is upside potential. If you have it in cash, you're not probably doing too well. All right, bonds starting to move higher. I think that they're starting to get the idea that, listen, the economy is doing good, but it isn't like robust by any stretch of the imagination here or across the pond. If we raise our rates too high too quickly and they aren't uh, caught up yet or st starting to feel the traction of the overall economy, then it could very well hurt them and stifle their growth. So we've got to be very cognizant of what's going on across the pond as well as what's going on here in the United States. Um, that being said, you know, bonds up about a half a point right now. And then we look at the VIX futures. They're off quite a bit today. Those 20s, I thought we were going to be able to see for a little bit longer, but because with the big move higher in equities today and the um, way that the election kind of turned out, uh, the equities are uh, championing that today with the Dow Jones up almost 300 points right now. NASDAQ blasting higher up almost uh, 140 points right now near the highs of the day. It's been an all out race to the upside since uh, the results have been um, uh, released for the election across the the uh, United States. All right. Uh, NASDAQ was up 130 points. We've got the E-mini S&Ps up 30 points. Everybody is rallying, celebrating. Uh, we can look at the E-mini S&P on a 30 minute chart. You can see what was going on during the election. And as soon as it looked like that, it wasn't a blue wave necessarily, we got a bit of a rally in the equities. And now, as you can see, we are at the highs of the day. So very, uh, very bullish today, it feels like. 
All right, a couple of trades that I've uh, taken off. I haven't added anything as of right now, but I'm going to be looking to add some, especially with equities uh, rallying and volatility coming out. I think it's a good time to take advantage of it because uh, that volatility could come out very quickly today. So make sure you're on it. With Nike, I'm trying to get out of my December 65 puts uh, for a little bit better than 50% of my max profit. 50% uh, of my max profit would be right about, I sold those for 52 cents and 26 cents would be 50% obviously, but it's right there. I'm squeezing it for a couple extra ticks, probably look to cover that by the end of the day, but I'm working a 19 cent bid, unable right now, but I just wanna make sure you guys are aware of that because actually yesterday I did get out of uh, one of the trades at the end of the day that I was talking about, I think it was Caterpillar. I ended up getting out of those, uh, the all the trades I was working yesterday. Uh, so Netflix is also another trade I took off. I had on the December 200 puts in there and I originally sold those for $1.30, I think it was $1.32. I bought them back for 50 cents this morning, pushing up against this Fibonacci uh, extension, 28, uh, sorry, 38 extension there. That is going to act as resistance. I didn't want to mess with it. Went up, kissed it, I'm good to go better than 50% of my max profit, I'm out. And then uh, Amazon, another trade I played to the upside. If you remember, I did these in the Ds and I did those on the 1340 puts and I originally sold those for, um, originally sold those uh, for $13, I believe. It was $13 and five cents and I bought those back for $5 and 20 cents this morning. So out of that as well, played both of those to the upside and we got that market bounce I was talking about. I think the equities were overdone and I started playing things to the upside. They worked out very quickly with volatility, as you can see, coming out quite dramatically today and market directional assumption correct. All of those things coming together for a nice couple of trades today. So very happy with the way that those worked out. Um, eBay rallying, so that helps. Uh, so I'm happy with that as well. Yesterday, uh, we were getting some pullback in um, Under Armour again today getting more of a pullback so that's helping me out on that under armor short that i have so just to keep you guys updated as of what i'm looking at um with regards to my portfolio that i'm still working on so just so you guys know i'm keeping an eye on all that other stuff as well uh check out yesterday's uh tiger shark trading festival of traders did a webinar on the importance of volatility and right now we're in that type of volatile market how to take advantage of those type of situations i know a lot of people are scared right now but this is the time to get to work all right so get on that and then tomorrow we're going to be doing a webinar on synthetic long so this is great for this type of environment where you don't know really which way volatility is going to go it we're going to show you how this strategy is going to offset those other types of risks that we normally have to worry about with volatility, with regards to volatility, all right? So check that out, all right? That's it. If you can't take that, take it easy.